So the mood is said to be bleak among the Conservative Party after Immigration Minister Robert Jenrick quit over the government's new Rwanda bill. And former Home Secretary Swella Braverman warning that the party faces electoral oblivion. We're joined now by the Northern Ireland Secretary Chris Heaton-Harris. Um, very good morning to you, Mr Heaton-Harris. Good morning. Look, if the... Um, if the minister whose job it was to shepherd this through Houses of Parliament resigns because he doesn't believe in it, how on earth can this policy have any credibility at all? So, um, so uh, I think it's actually a great shame that Robert's gone. He helped. He did actually help design this policy, and this policy actually, I really do believe, will work. Everybody in my political party wants to make sure we have we, we can control our borders after we left the European Union and indeed stop the boats. Um, we have been frustrated both by votes in Parliament uh, and by Supreme Court judgment, which we have now answered with a treaty with Rwanda, uh, with a bill that was uh, introduced into Parliament yesterday, which will be debated next week, which has a whole host. It's the strongest piece of uh, anti-illegal migration legislation our country has ever seen and should uh, indeed uh, stop the elements of where people can use uh, have used a legal system previously uh, to remove themselves uh, from indeed being removed to Rwanda it yeah. means you cannot that's, claim that's known as human rights legislation yeah we just applied to elements of the human rights legislation so there can be no spurious claims made under that um, we're also uh, in, in this bill uh, you, you cannot just simply claim asylum to stay in this uh, country, and indeed, we, uh, you cannot use uh, um, or cannot use uh, many, some of the arguments under mod modern slavery act, which were used by 63% of people who extracted themselves from the plane going to Rwanda uh, earlier in the year. So, yes, this is a very, very strong package of measures okay. alongside a treaty to remove people Those, to a safe country. But anybody who's placed on the flights, if they ever get to the point of taking up, still have the rights to. Uh, objects, don't they? They can still put their claims against removal. So, um, I mean, you're saying in a, that in a, but, uh, in a vanishingly small uh, area, uh, which is uh, uh, basically around identification, or if you believe you're uh, in imminent uh, uh, danger or harm um, uh, of torture, etc. But that will and, still and, bog down the whole process uh, in legalities, uh, though, won't uh, it? Uh, we, we do not believe that is the case in the slightest. And, indeed, it is an important part, because, uh, I mean, as the, the Prime Minister said in his reply to uh, Robert uh, last night. Um, this is an element that was important to our Rwandan colleagues as well. Um, and you do need a country to return people to. Um, the legislation does not bar migrants lodging appeals against their deportation on the grounds that it breaches Britain's obligations under the ECHR. And as long as we are still signed up members of the European Convention of Human Rights, individuals will always have the right to take a claim directly to Strasbourg. Do you think that's where the right of the party is digging in its heels? Uh, no, and actually, uh, th there's an element in here, because um, it's an, actually an element of the ECHR, it's not the complete uh, thing that it has caused an issue. It's an inter the interim measures that uh, uh, were taken uh, by an unnamed judge uh, uh, overnight b uh, before the last plane left. And, and again, this legislation does deal with that factor completely, uh, allowing a minister to be the final arbiter of whether that is the case uh, and uh, whether people stay on a plane. So uh, we, this absolutely is a very strong package of measures to combat yeah. illegal migration to this country. So you say it's the strongest ever brought, um, whether it goes through or not, we don't know. But Swella Braverman, a number of your colleagues don't think it's gone far enough. And in fact, she suggested that the party is facing electoral oblivion in a matter of months because of it. So, actually, I, I mean, forgive me, former chief whip, um, I, I, I am also... Uh, and um, I actually do think this will go through. I think it will have... A, 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 there'll be lots of amendments to it from all sides of the House. I'm sure Labour will try and frustrate it, both in the Commons and the Lords. Um, uh, but what we're after is actually Labour agreeing to us to be able to use an yeah. emergency... But also, uh, you're emergency after not being obliterated this. the next election as well, whether it goes through or not. And that's the concern, isn't it? No, the, con the concern is that the British uh, and the British people, and indeed most uh, mainstream politicians, are uh, are concerned about what is going on in our, our country. Uh, we have. Uh, I'm very proud of the multicultural nature of our, our country, and um, it, there are now uh, elements within that are ca causing great concern about community cohesion and, uh, and other things because of the number of people coming to our country illegally on these boats. We need to, as mainstream politicians, deal with this in the sensible and pragmatic way, and that's what this legislation does. 
Um, Rishi Sunak has staked his reputation on stopping the boats. You can't get this policy through currently. You've seen um, turmoil amongst backbenchers. You've seen the resignation of an immigration minister. And you're talking about the fact that everybody's concerned about immigration. The people on the boats constitute a tiny number of those who make their way to this country. You have a net immigration figure of around 700,000 when, after Brexit, we were told we would take back control. You don't seem to be able to take back control at all. Well, forgive me. I mean, that's why we've introduced, because, uh, as I mentioned, we might have been stymied by our political opponents, the Labour Party, Liberals and others in, in Parliament, and, indeed, had a Supreme Court judgment against us on elements of this, which, are, which this treaty with Rwanda and this bill do rectify. Earlier this week, we announced a whole package of measures to deal with that, uh, to deal with that number, reduce it, uh, we believe, by, um, to, uh, by about 300,000 um, in the course of uh, the uh, uh, next year. Um, and I actually do think we will get this bill through uh, uh, Parliament. I mean, what we do need is Labour to agree that we can use the emergency procedure, so we uh, emergency procedure, so we can do this quickly, so people will be able to have confidence that we will be able to return uh, those that come to our country illegally to Rwanda uh, for processing and, uh, and and so forth. So you're confident that there will be some of these flights taking off to Rwanda before the next election? I, I am, yes. And what do you say to your colleagues? in your own party. I mean, the Daily Mail points out this morning that the opposition doesn't need to do any work at all at the moment because your own colleagues are tearing your party apart. Suella Braverman, Robert Jenrick, even um, the current Home Secretary said that he didn't have much faith in this Rwanda policy. What do you say to your own party in the no. run-up to the next election? Yeah, without without a doubt, we need to be united because people will not vote for anything a party that is not. But we also, but we absolutely to do that need to uh, need to deliver on our promises. And we we as a party, we all want to. I'm absolutely sure. Former, as I say, I'm a former government chief weapon. We've tried to endeavour to, and we've united the party previously on measures to uh, try and stop the boats. But we've been frustrated elsewhere in our attempts to do so. And this is the strongest package of anti uh, uh, of measures to try and uh, stop these boats that have ever that has ever come before us. Um, I think we can un unite behind this. The debate will be. Uh, fascinating because everybody in Parliament will have their will have their say. Parliamentary processes always improve um, okay. uh, bills as they go as they go through, but this this bill will uh, help stop the boats. Okay, um, Suella Braverman, former Home Secretary, has already said while you are speaking on an alternative broadcast channel, this new bill will not work. It will not stop the boats. Your message, the Prime Minister's message to your own party, you know, unite or die, is not being listened to. So I believe this, this is, well, I, I know this is the strongest package of measures we've ever brought forward to try and stop the, uh, to try and stop the boats. We, in this package, as I say, uh, people will not be able to frustrate the system by launching asylum claims, by uh, spuriously using the Human Rights Act, by uh, using elements of the modern slavery uh, bill, which, they, which has been used previously to extract people from planes, uh, the plane as it was heading towards or uh, trying to leave for Rwanda. Um, and I think when we come to examine the detail of, the, of this bill, all this will come to the fore. Okay. Um, and, and this bill will work. Well, we will find out in due time. Uh, Chris Heaton-Harris, thanks for joining us this morning.